Thanks so much for checking out this clip from the Athletes Only Podcast. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more great moments like this one. And now, here's Ryan Lochte. I guess we'd love to kind of talk a little bit more about your relationship with Michael through that time, both in and out of the pool. Uh, so, you know, in the pool, I mean, I'm an open book, I'm not going to lie. Well, while we were swimming, both of us, I was always the guy to be like, you want my autograph? I'll sign autographs all day, every day. I will never say no. Mm. And that was kind of my thing with everything in life, which got me in trouble too. Um, but we'll get into that later. Um, well, I would notice like he would be like, no, I don't have time to sign your autograph. And like stuff like that. And I'm like, man, dude, like, come on. Like it's stuff. It's part of the, like the job kind of. But, I mean, I could understand where he's coming from. Like, he's like the Michael Jordan of swimming. And being stopped nonstop and dragged and touched and pulled. If it was me, I would have loved it. I'd be like, yeah. But I could see how people would get aggravated. And so, like, while we were swimming, I was just like, man, we're friends. Obviously, he's a competitor. I I wish you could like change and be, you could be bigger than what you are. I mean, which at that time, like he was the known, most known person in the world, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then after 2012, he said he was retiring and immediately I either called him or texted him. I can't remember, but I was like, oh, you are not retiring. Get your ass back in the pool. And then it started like, he's like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Like. I just had a, like, I've done all I could do in the sport of swimming, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, all right, whatever. Months later, I was like, swimming, I'm like, man, I kind of need him Phelps here. He's like my kind of motivation. Yeah. <laughs> Called him, get your ass back in the pool. I'll bet <laughs> you, I'll bet you a thousand dollars you won't come back. He's like, what? And then, like, it wasn't like months later, it was actually like, a, a year or so and he was like then he came back he owes he owes me a thousand dollars which he still hasn't paid there we go but there we go back. and then so it was good um so like we we're back um he's he was a changed person when he came back i don't know like it was probably the depression but he was a different person i think he was not taking swimming for granted and when you get to a certain point in any kind of career, you get that nonchalant being like, I'm bigger than this. And then you start taking things for granted. I mean, it happened to me too um, later on. But he was a different person. He was more calm, more like talkable. Like you could go up to him, sign an audit, like people could take pictures with him. You'd be like, yeah, sure. And I was like, wow, like... It's different. Yeah. I mean, he's my stage partner. Every Olympics, we have a tradition. I was like, you got to be there for 2016. Yeah. Um, and he was. And he was my stage partner. And we kicked everyone's butt in it. And, uh, but it was good to have him back. The sport needed yeah. him. But if you want early access to my podcast with Ryan Lochte and many more athletes only exclusive interviews, make sure to become a member of my channel today to get access to extended content.